Good morning and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Ashley and today I have a power hour motivational cleaning video for you guys. We are going to be tackling this disastrous house as I'm walking you through all the mess. I mean, look, my shower curtain is knocked down, my trash is overflowing, but that is okay. We are going to tackle this and get it all done. I got the timer set for one hour, so let's see how much we can get done. But before we jump into all this cleaning motivation, this video is in collaboration with my good friend Holly Christine here on YouTube. And I want to give a huge shout out to her for doing this collab with me. She is an awesome mama to one beautiful little boy named Holden, and she has another little boy on the way. She does so many motivational cleaning videos, some DIYs, awesome decluttering organization videos. If you guys haven't seen her channel, you should seriously head on over. She is so motivational. I know you guys will just love her. I will leave her link in the description below and I hope you guys go check her out. But let's jump into all this cleaning motivation. I have a lot that I have to get done and some unexpected things that happen. So let's jump right into it. Today I decided to use my Clorox wipes just to disinfect the bathroom really good. I typically use my Scentsy All Purpose Cleaner, but today I want it to disinfect. So we went with these. In my last video, you guys were saying that you aren't able to find these wipes. And up until recently, I have been able to find them, but I'm assuming with school starting and everyone doing their back to school shopping, this was on the list for the school and of course when i went to go look for them i wasn't able to find any so i'm hoping they'll get them back in stock soon because i actually don't have any to send to the school with the kids but are you guys still struggling to find the clorox wipes in your area let me know When I clean the bathroom, I like to switch the wax out. This is the apple tart scent, I believe it was. And I love the Scentsy Wax, because as you can see, my warmer has burnt on wax, and that was from the Walmart wax. Every time I use Walmart wax, it burns to the bottom of the warmer. So I really have been switching over to the Scentsy Wax because it just melts so much better and the cleanup is so much easier. Those cotton balls that are on the back of the toilet are what I use to clean the wax. I just take a couple of those, set them inside the warmer and it soaks up all the wax. you close maybe hold your hand a little while somehow i know you're gonna be the girl that i'll end up calling my own we ride around in style sleeves rolled up glasses on and then you make that smile and my heart starts racing when i'm with you
I wanted to show you guys this awesome gift box of all the Tony seasonings and my husband actually met the son of the owner of the company the one who came up with the Tony seasonings so I just thought it was so awesome that my husband got to meet him and we got this awesome gift box which I haven't opened yet but I'm really excited to try out all the seasonings because I actually didn't know there was more than one. I've only seen the Tony's Creole seasoning, so I'm super excited to try all the other different seasonings out. Have you guys tried any of the other ones or did you even know they had more than just the regular Tony's? Since this was a power hour and I was limited on time, I decided to leave the dishes for later. My kids did the main dishes, picked up the clean ones, put the dirty ones in the dishwasher. What was left was mainly the bigger ones that I have to hand wash. So I figured I would leave those for later because I wanted to see how many big areas I could tackle in just an hour.
and look at the kids bathroom it is a disaster so the kids usually clean the bathroom themselves but about every two weeks i like to go in there and do a deeper clean because the kids are usually just a surface level clean so i want to make sure i at least get a deep clean in there at least every two weeks And I bought these bins from Walmart. I showed them in a previous video and I decided to use one of them to store the kids' toys underneath the sink. That way I don't have to leave all the toys sitting in the tub looking like a mess. And this is where the most tragic thing that could happen happened so I went to go bring these towels into the laundry room and as I was walking back I see my camera yes falling straight down onto the face and it messed up my lens cover thankfully my camera is now turning on for me but the lens cover won't open so I have to manually open the lens cover. So the rest of the video, I'm actually filming on my phone and I am going to get in contact with Canon and get my cameras uh, sent out to see if they will cover it under warranty to repair it. If not, then I'll just have to pay to get it fixed. But I am so sad that my camera fell. I'm definitely going to be investing in a sturdier tripod. I'm pretty sure this happened because that tripod is so lightweight and it just toppled over on me. But I was so upset, you guys. the days pass by people would tell us to get a grip of ourselves and get a job we didn't care what we were told cause when we were younger we used to sit on the grass and go damn i don't want to grow old i wish i could turn back time mm -mm -mm. Stay up all night singing songs on the terrace We didn't mind sitting out in the cold It was impossible to make us with just six minutes left, Ethan woke up, so I knew he was going to be ready for his bottle. So I just went ahead and finished off this power hour by starting a load of laundry. When they found out we ran from home just to scare them, we were free. When we got older, we 
try to stay in touch But we had to move on Life ran away from us Alright you guys, that's gonna conclude this power hour Make sure to head on over to Holly Christine's channel after you get done watching this. I know she's gonna have an awesome power hour for you guys too. Her link will be in the description below. And I had a crazy freak accident. I dropped my camera and now I have to see if I'm even gonna be able to get it fixed. I literally broke it while in the bathroom. I could cry, I'm so upset. I can't believe I didn't put insurance on it. That is definitely my fault. I'm praying it's still under warranty or something. So I have to call to figure that out. Let me just show you real quick. This is what I did. I like smashed the front and now it won't even close. When I try to turn it on, it just, I'm so upset, but that's okay, we are going to have to record on my phone until I can get it fixed. But if you guys did enjoy this, please give it a big thumbs up. It does help support my channel. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss my uploads every Monday, Wednesday, and often Fridays. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! Say bye!